Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to install a two-step in my 1971 Chevelle. And originally, I was going to go with this MSD two-step system like so. But a friend on YouTube said that the Phytech unit will actually do it for me. So apparently, at least with the power adder system, if you feed 12 volts into the AC line, that it will activate the two-step. So the plan is to run 12 volts into a momentary switch kind of like this but momentary and I'll feed it probably right about here and that will feed 12 volts into a micro switch that I'll mount on my clutch pedal so when I have the clutch pushed in it will activate 12 volts to the AC line into the Phytech at least that's the plan so to get started I'm going to first remove my console plate as for the wiring under the hood it's very very simple this harness, this half comes out from the Phytech unit itself, and this half is included with the Phytech kit, at least with the power adder kits. All you have to do is splice into the red AC inline right here, which is where you're feeding your 12 volts into. And once you do that, you're done. So I got the wiring completed for my two-step, so now I go to the handheld, I say power adder tuning, two-step control, and I make my RPM adjustments right here, so you can do whatever I want to do right there. I just had it set to a low 2500 RPM to test it. Right here, two-step spark cut, that has to be set to on. Um, one thing I was a little confused about is under the AC control, I thought maybe this had to be enabled. It does not. That is specifically set for AC, so your two-step control is just here. Uh, so now, when I go into this button right here, I push this push in the clutch and then um, mash the gas and there I got my two-step release the clutch it, it disables it let go and on to the shifts so how does it work in real life well let's go find out so as you guys know I made a few changes to the car in the off season the timing control is the most recent uh, so far it's going pretty good I haven't made any real changes to the uh, timing curve but uh, you know it seems snappy uh, responsive um, yeah I don't know it seems good I haven't gotten a, a full tank of gas to check if I've gotten any kind of improvement in efficiency but you know, so far so good no problems as of yet the body mounts going to polyurethane they are noticeably stiffer and noisier on the road than before with the rubber ones uh, which makes me wonder what I recommend the polys uh, versus rubber well I haven't driven the car in a performance way uh, like on the road course to, to really benefit with the uh, to gain to get the benefits uh, of the polyurethane so and also so far I haven't bottomed out yet with my uh, drive shaft so you know still inconclusive but definitely I can feel the bumps and the noises a lot more um, the intake manifold which I poured it again I'm not gonna feel it, it, it there's if it made any more power uh, I'm not going to just feel that uh, just by driving around, see the pan. So I'm going to have to take it to the dyno to the track and just hope it did something. But uh, for now, we are out to go test the two step to see how that works. Okay, we're ready to test the two step. Now I've set it on the handheld to 2700 RPM. I'm still running my street tires, so there's no way I'm going to hook up at all. But whatever, we're going to see how this goes. So uh, what I do is obviously clutch in first gear I push the button on my console that engages the foot uh, uh, solenoid on my clutch pedal and now we can test this out I think that's a test successful. If you guys like the video, please hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you can. And until next time, thanks for watching. 